Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at a really cool tool by Nico Garcia, and he gives this away for free, and it's called the Wire Builder Tool, and it allows you to create wires with physics or without physics, and be able to create a custom segmented length, so you can make it as long or as short as you want. You can add a plug onto the end of the actual item itself, and then you can plug it into a socket specifically, and then you can do an action based on this socket. In another case, if you just want to create custom wires around your scene, you can do that, and you can adjust the segments on the wires. So I'm gonna show you how to put this together and let me know what you think. So do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and everything you can find in game dev. So what you can do, I'll put a link in the description so you can go to Nico Garcia's Patreon and you can sign up for more of his shaders. But if you scroll down this page, you will find Wire Builder Update 1.01. You can download the package and the README and it will tell you the setup steps, but I will show you that too. Now, when we're in Unity, you can make sure that you drag the Wire Builder package, Unity package, into your project, and you will get something like this. If you're using URP like me, you'll need to upgrade your materials, and I'll put a link in the description if you need to do that. Then the first thing you need to do is you go Edit Project Settings, and when we've got Project Settings open, you need to go to the Physics tab, and you need to make sure that the default solver is between 10 and 20 for this to be the most accurate. And it does say the higher this count is, the more costly and performance it is. So it's very much dependent on your project itself. You want to actually go to the inspector, click on an object, and make sure you create a new layer. And I just called it wire, like you can see there. Now on the physics option again, you want to make sure that you untick the box for having wire and wire. It's just this one down here which would make sure that it doesn't collide with itself. Then you need to make sure that in Wire Builder, if you go to the prefabs, all of the items which aren't the plug should have a layer of wire and so should all their children. So when you, if you need to set it, make sure you set it and you set all their children as well. Then you want to find your URP data if you're using URP and find your renderer and make sure in filtering, you've got wire ticked in both the cases so it'll render it properly. And then one quick tip in your scene is if you've got you need to make sure that gizmos are selected and viewable or you won't be able to see things that happen in the scene. To get to start, you can open up the prefabs, just drag wire builder into your scene here. Now you've got to make sure that you've got wire builder selected and let's say we just choose in this scene here, you want to right click to choose a point where you're going to start your wire. Then on the right hand side in the inspector, you can click press set start. So that's the start of your wire. Then what we want to do is I'm going to create a new point on the floor. So wherever I want my wire to go. So I'm just going to put another point by right clicking down there. I'm going to click add segment. Then I can do it again. Add a new segment by right clicking, right click again, add segment. And here's my wire basically. And then I can click set end. So it puts a plug on the end and then what I can do is I can right click on an object and I can click set plug and you also have options to clear the entire wire or undo the last thing that you did or you can click render wire if you've added more segments to the object and I'll show you more of the features and before you start you want to select the clone because in my case it might have been rotated a different way but you make sure that you always select the parent on this side and not the children because sometimes you might have an issue with that otherwise. So when we press play, we start getting the physics of the wire that we've just created and we can make sure that we can select the end anchor, which is the actual plug. By default, it'll have is kinematic as unticked and it will try and use physics to bring that wire back down. But if we make sure that we tick that it is an is kinematic object, we can then drag it around and rotate and move our wire wherever we want. And then if we pull it towards our socket, you can see that it then fits in that item. You can see that if we select the plug clone, you can add when the wire is plugged in, you can do an action based on that. So if you wanted to create an, an explosion or something like that and make that happen, you could absolutely do it. Now, as an example here with my wire that I'd already created, you can say that you might not want to use physics or might not want to render physics to save on some performance. So if you untick use physics and finish with no physics on the wire, you'll press that button and you'll see on wire builder itself, you can see that you could get rid of the plug if you really wanted and you could get rid of or hide the end anchor. And now when you press play, it's just a basic wire 
based on the segments that you've created. Now, as an example, if we had another wire builder, you might fall into some specific problems. So again, I can right click and I can choose set start and I can just add some segments and I'll start by creating. Sometimes you might have or it be limited to the length of the wire that you can have where you can actually adjust the limit max. So then you'd be able to make a longer wire. Also, you can actually select the segment separation if you want less polygons in between. So if we set that to say 0.1 in this case, we'll right click to create a new wire and you'll see that we have much less segments in our object to be able to, to maximize performance. And if I right click again and choose add a new segment, we've got much less items. And in this case, I can just click to end and I can set a plug if I want. Remember I can undo or otherwise. And now if I press play, this one does use physics. So I want to press play here. And remember if I've limited the segments and I select on the end anchor, which is the actual plug itself and make sure that it is an is kinematic object. You can see that when I lift it up, we get, we have much less segments in the end area. So it's much harder to uh, make it look realistic. But again, this could be a way where you create wires with much less segments and you can make that low poly style or just something that can decorate your scene in a much nicer way. And again, at any point you can untick the need for using physics and finish with no physics on the wire and you can make a big difference there. So I hope this helped everybody out and you check out Nico's Patreon and other great stuff that he has. Do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 185 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Do be sure to check out all the links in the description to get access to all the best sales, savings and everything you can find for this month. Do be sure to check out all my great assets on the Unity Asset Store and on my website for massive savings. So a big thank you to all my patrons, including Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Manos Barakas, Walter Dunson, Rene Leisure, Alyssa Faden, Hush, Thomas Mersaleski, Callum Murray, Mark Rondu, Marvin Church, Crew for Life Gaming, Sung Ji Park, Austin Certain, Gene Quaid, Duan Cooper, Johanna Lixon, Leslie Winter, Heather Fletcher, Mark Vacan, Andre Ferreira, Lorianto, Dylan C, Pablo, Liam Gray, Warblin Lynn, Dennis Foreman, Lemu, Shane Finley, Cal Frederick, Shibi Marion, FH, Darko Penninger, and Asap Gunawan. Thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.